Hi, Mark A here and welcome to the next video. Today I have a quickie for you because it's a super simple topic and a solution. And I, the reason I'm recording this is because I think it's not a common knowledge, but it's a very simple and easy thing to do. No C++ required also. But if you want to go in depth, then maybe, yeah, if you want to use slide and so on and so on. I'm gonna do that in second part of the video and just focus on simplicity in the first part, okay? Okay. And the second part will be just, you know, rumbling. So, um, let's say an example, right? You have some sort of widget, you made that widget. Yeah, I also made a widget because I made an example. A UI test. And, and in that UI test, let's say we have a canvas panel and maybe not a throber, but some other animated elements, maybe some dozen of other widgets nested in other widgets and, and so on and so on. And this is a very nice uh, sort of compilation of widgets you want to draw to some sort of texture. Maybe it's a book, maybe it's a, some non-standard geometry, Maybe it's a lamp, maybe it's a, I don't know, ass, whatever. And you want to, uh, you know, just get this as a texture and plug it to, to, to a mesh, right? So let's use this static mesh as an example because it's sort of irregular, but we could also do stairs, I suppose. But it's not that not standard, I suppose. Uh, let's just use that quarter cylinder, but it, it literally works with any static mesh you would want it to work with. It could also work with uh, skeletal meshes and wherever you want to or you can use materials, right? So, prerequisites. A widget, you already have that widget. A static mesh, which you sh should already have as well. A material. And material that is, uh, you know, it, it has a texture sample parameter to D. Very easy to just, you know, texture sample param to D. If you by accident do this, then you can just do uh, right click. Or maybe not. Yeah. Uh, convert to parameter, right? Yeah, it just makes this. Plug this to base color, and if you want this to be translucent, use translucent, then you have alpha as opacity, and if you want this to not have some sort of lightning, then, you know, plug emissive or just change from default lead to unlit. There are many ways to do that, so I'll just go with that. And, uh, you know, that material needs to be in your static mesh. So, uh, I, mean, I already did this, so... Okay, fine, I'll, I'll do it again. Uh, you have an actor, right? That actor, I call it text test, is just, it's just an actor, as you can see here. On begin play, you need to add a widget. Widget component, because the thing we want to do is not really possible, of course, disclaimer from blueprints, <laughs> to do, uh, e, 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 e. we cannot get that render target from just a widget. We can do that sort of using slate in C++, but it's not, not the topic, right? So um, we need to add that component because that component already does everything we want, we want it to do. So it draws a UI to a render target. And that render target is something we can just take and use wherever we want, right? So, uh, when you add that widget, you can add uh, your uh, UI class, whatever that is, UI test in my case, because that's my widget, and maybe make it 512 by 512, it's of course resolution, and if you want it to be small, then you just use scale, right? And you, of course, have a geometry mode here, so you can change from plane to cylinder, but we are not talking about such simple shapes. We maybe you want to uh, have a lamp, maybe you want it to be a character, whatever, whatever, right? You, you just want uh, the render texture. And you get that widget, and surprise, surprise, you do a, a, a render texture. I can't spell. Uh, get a render target, of course, not texture, but that is returning a texture. 
Uh, and uh, you know, if you know uh, how to use Unreal, then you already know what to do. Like I don't have to tell you. It's just close that video and do your thing, right? You already know. But for you though, you guys that don't know what to do with that, you need a static mesh that you want to use. Uh, you know, you want to draw that UI too. Let's uh, just add a static mesh component. Let's pick some weird maybe uh, static mesh. I think I wanted to pick this one. So let's just copy from here and uh, apply a material. So you need that um, UI text. In your example, you can, you know, sort of integrate that texture sample into your other materials or the material that your static mesh is using. And you, what you want to do is get that static mesh, create dynamic material instance that will swap the material with dynamic material instance. You save that to DMI. Oh, I already have that variable. But if you don't, then just you know, hit this and promote. And you get that DMI. Set texture parameter value. And this is your value and parameter name is whatever you, you typed in that material and you need an update function it could be even tick if you want to be you know very programmy then you can use event tick and uh, well not even tick uh timer by event of course and just you know plug that to event set it to a one whatever right i'm, I'm just gonna use event tick because it's simple and now you are done. This is it. This, this takes 15 seconds to do. <laughs> and you just play. And it's this, right? And one thing you might notice, although the widget is drawn to the static mesh, it's also drawn as a 3D widget. Right? And we don't really want that widget because it's not supposed to do that. So what do we want to do? We just um, go to that widget and you might be tempted to uh, disable visible. But if you disable visible, then that widget is not rendered at all. And then this will be nothing. Right? So you'll just have no mesh. Uh, I mean, no material on the mesh is gonna be nothing. Uh, so what you want to do is type main and uncheck render in main pass. And what that does, it still renders, but not in the you know user visibility spectrum, whatever. And when you play, then it's just your mesh. Simple as that. So. Uh, now some rumbling, I guess, let's say for for next two minutes. Um, what do what can we talk about? Uh, first of all, um, you don't really need that widget to be in your actor, right? Because maybe you have a character, maybe you have some other actors and those have children and all, all, uh, so on and so on. And that widget, you know, is going to be created for each of uh, of those actors and you re don't really want that. So what do I propose to make this a little bit more uh, optimized? Then don't add it as a component to uh, to the actor, just add component by class, use that node. You can use that in some actor that will just have one instance of so, sort of spawned in the level and just reference it. Or you can maybe use your character, maybe you can use also blueprint function library, but that target has to be an actor. So just keep that in mind that it has to be hooked to some sort of actor in your scene. Then for class, you just pick widget component and set widget to your widget. And that widget that, you know, you do by create widget and you plug this, right? So this can have multiple widgets, 
This kind of, uh, you know, you can do this in, in various places. And when you get that render target, you can use it in whatever amount of materials you want, right? So it's, it's just one, one texture, draw it to whatever you want. So that's, uh, that's my tips for, for optimization. And I think that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, also yeah, I mentioned that you can sort of get only the widget, not the widget component, and sort of use Slate to make a render target, but you would kind of do the job of the component. So I'm, I don't really know what's the point, because this is already all the code you need for it to, to be working. But if you really want, it's possible to do from C++ and you don't need that component. Uh, but I'm not gonna show you because it's uh, fucking stupid. So um, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. Uh, if you have some ideas or uh, something you want me to cover in the next video, write below. And if you didn't like something, then, uh, you know, maybe don't write. <laughs> No, it's just, I'm just kidding. Any constructive feedback, of course, uh, welcome. Drop a like, drop a dislike if you did, didn't like the video. And uh, sub for more videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.